Welcome to episode four of the Four Shot DC Action Figures Reviews. Three girls, one guy, one guy missing Mr. Freeze, yeah. Uh, as you start from the episode one, we did Harley Quinn. Episode two, Mr. Freeze. And episode three was me soloing the failed Supergirl. Which still looks good. Ironic. Episode four, we are doing the Wonder Woman from the same series as Supergirl here. So... Let's get to it. Let's get Harley Quinn out of the way. And let's get Supergirl and Mr. Freeze out of the way. All right, and let's get to Wonder Woman. Yay. I don't think this is a very unique take on Wonder Woman right out. So you got the arbitrary uh, drawing of Wonder Woman. You got the DC Supergirl Girl Sun. So that includes magic, lasso of truth, which is right there. <laughs> Wonder Woman name with the WWE shield. That's very unique WWE on the Wonder Woman outfit. For some reason, I got curious about this one. All right, let's look at the side. Of course, you can see right through it to see the figure. And then on the back, we've got arbitrary superhero stuff, saving the world from the plans of super villains isn't easy. You can pause it if you want to read any of this text here. I am not going to read it. We've got the Wonder Woman right there, and then. Here is what the I bet the one the woman person and her powers listed. Which is not pretty much no one as far as in the superhero hi, which is what these two are currently from. Where it's got the three in the series with one woman on the end. Action figures down their own promise on the back. Well Supergirl kinda said, Ooh, you can't sell. Get a villain to hold me up. rip on through the packaging so we get to the fun part. Finding out if this figure is the same thing. Is it more fail? Is it more success? Well, that's unique. Her is actually purple. I'm already finding problems because, well, that's a surprise. She is surprisingly stiff. And I'm going to pick the magic lasso on and... Is they can stand on their own, and she's not standing. Okay. <laughs> oh no! The packaging says on it can stand on their own, and this is not standing at all again. <laughs> If you want to say something is standing on their own, you need to. Oh, wow. We actually got one to stand. And it move it, it falls. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Even the lasso popped off. Okay. We're going to leave the lasso off. All right. So, put the arms forward. That's what it took to get her to stand. And, uh, yeah, let's bring this camera in a bit. So, here she is. What a tightly to stand. Supergirl couldn't even get to stand. <coughs> and she, she fell. Okay. So, first off, if you want to have this you know, figure look like this, okay, with these proportions, you have to actually give in and actually make the feet heavy. Your then all of this to some extent, okay? That's what it takes for your figure figure to be guaranteed to be able to stand, okay? So 
this is the lasso all right it's almost like dc was kind of like going to i don't even know what dc was thinking with these but still this is pretty funny these actually look funny in a weird like adorable way okay it's kind of like when you get that that thing you see it on the shelf it's like oh my goodness that's just like this is like not good not not even in any way good but then it's just like when you look at it it's just like the it's adorable <laughs> these are almost like the pull of action figures hate to say it <laughs> And if you know about that, about that dog, you'll know why this comparison is actually pretty on the spot. I mean, I'm surprised he's even standing now, okay? Because the balance here on their weight is just dismal. <laughs> I mean, seriously, look at how she's standing. <laughs> so, oh no. Okay, so. The lasso is the major feature of this Wonder Woman figure, or in this case, it should actually be called Wonder Girl since he's a high school student, and since the girl would be actually more appropriate. Uh, let's see if this lasso can even be held by the figure legitimately. <laughs> okay, so here it is that way, and then she would be twirling it by the looks of it in some fashion, so. The fingers are really soft plastic. It's it's just so funny. <laughs> okay, she she can sort of hold it. <laughs> oh, it fell. And I dropped it. <laughs> Okay, back before the YouTube channel, I actually got this one Wonder Woman. It was a technically a sculpture. I didn't realize it at the time, and it had a string lasso. It was actually a string, and it was gold color. It basically looked like, well, she actually can sort of stand on her own. Sort of, however, it was hopeless in standing. I mean, look at this. I can actually get a halfway decent pose out of this figure. <coughs> well, this is a legit surprise. Hmm. Well, this one's actually pretty stable. And she fell down. Well, let's get to the joints. Standing on your own is obviously not quite standing on your own, so. The head can, it's got the same problem as Supergirl as it snaps back forward on account of that. I don't know why. It's obviously on a bulging or something. The shoulders are unfortunately ratcheted again. The elbow is ratcheted again. And the wrist is, rat is well, can turn around. Things to be on a peg. And the legs. Thanks to this one not having a skirt, she can actually she can actually go whap, 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 whap. One more do a split, which sort of, not quite all the way. And these legs are actually hinged, so they can actually do hinging stuff. Whoa, that far, that far back. And then you got your knee joints. Which is on a two ratchet system. And the boots is obviously not turning. Oh well. And the lasso is unfortunately. When I figure it says it can stand, I expect it to be able to just literally just stand like a soldier. This requires legit balancing. Okay, the lasso is unfortunately this. It's got a peg. And it can peg into here. 
which unfortunately when you peg it on the figure you have that so in every sense of the word if she's not holding it it will look silly even even just slapping it on the figure's hand it ends up looking silly <laughs> Ah, Wonder Woman. Good thing I got these at uh, these two last two figures from a discount bin. Otherwise, this would not. But this, this is just too. I didn't expect to like this figure. <laughs> I had a different idea, but then unfortunately, my idea is not going to happen now because I ended up liking these two figures. I ended up liking this figure. And this figure, unexpectedly. <laughs> I like him, but I'm not giving her or her a thumbs up. I'm giving Harley Quinn a thumbs up because that is a really good Harley Quinn. I really like this Harley Quinn. Awesome Harley Quinn. I like that Mr. Freeze. It's a good Mr. Freeze. I really like it, Mr. Freeze. These two, <laughs> for all their problems, I still like them. Just confusing. Thank you for watching. As always, peace out and have a good evening.